Hello everyone. Lead International School Form 1 First Term Mathematics Lesson Number 11 Topic Symmetry Objectives of the lesson are to understand about line symmetry, know to understand about two axes of symmetry, know to understand about three or more axes of symmetry, to understand about rotational symmetry, to describe about congruence. To understand what symmetry is, let's look into the image of isosceles triangle. It is a triangle which two sides are equal. Now, let me give you an easy task. You need to think. You have to divide the triangle into two parts. Both parts match exactly when they folded along a line. How would you divide the triangle if this condition has to be satisfied? Pause the video and give a try. It is easy, I guess most of you got a correct answer. If you draw a line like this, the condition will be satisfied. Yes, it is a vertical line which divide the triangle into two parts which match exactly when folded along the line when you take right side part to the left side both overlap exactly that's why this shape is symmetrical let's try another figure i draw a isosceles triangle this way and ask you the same question how would you divide the triangle into two parts such that parts match exactly when they folded along a line yes we can draw a horizontal line like this. Now, we can get two parts that matches exactly when you fold the both sides and the both sides will overlap exactly. In previous slide, it has a vertical line and here it has a horizontal line. These lines we called as axis of symmetry. The first triangle, it has a vertical axis of symmetry and the second triangle has horizontal axis of symmetry. These lines we called as axis of symmetry. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Can a shape have more than one axis of symmetry? When you look into a triangle, your answer would be no. But there are a shape which has more than one axis of symmetry. Now look into a rectangle. Now, the rectangle consists two pairs of parallel lines. And also all the angles measure 90 degrees. It will have the horizontal symmetry like when two parts overlap both parts match exactly with other and also it has a vertical symmetry like this when you fold according to the vertical symmetry both parts overlap exactly with other rectangle it has a horizontal and vertical symmetry lines but wait some of you have a doubt when we match the diagonal also create the symmetry line or not Let's see. When you fold according to the diagonal line, it won't match exactly. You can try it at home. And you can try it in another diagonal side also. Take a piece of paper shaped rectangle and try it. I'm sure it won't match exactly. And the both sides never overlap when the symmetrical line comes through the diagonal. Now, you have another question. Can a figure has more than two axes of symmetry? If yes, which figure? 
The answer is yes. Take a shape called square. Square has all the four sides are equal and also it has four right angles. It has a vertical axis symmetry line and also horizontal axis symmetry line. Same like the rectangle but a square the diagonal will also be the axis of symmetry. If you fold along the diagonal the both parts match exactly. So the square has four axis of symmetry horizontal line, vertical line and two diagonal line. More than four axes. Let's look into the regular hexagon. It has six equal sides. All the six sides angles are same. When you draw the symmetrical line to the regular hexagon, you will be getting six axes of symmetrical line. Now, look into the circle. Circle has infinity of axes of symmetry line. I would like to give you an example. The nature also consists of symmetry. The example is human face. It has a vertical axis of symmetry. I have explained several examples in previous slides also. All the figures which consist of horizontal and vertical diagonal axis of symmetry. It has a special name. We call them as line symmetry. We have studied about line symmetry. We have another type of symmetry is rotational symmetry. To understand this, let's move into a figure. Look into the shape. Now tell me whether if you draw the line at that two parts match exactly. No, we can realize no such lines can be drawn. But the shape has rotational symmetry. As the name suggests rotational symmetry, let's try to rotate the figure which was given here. When you rotate to 360 degree, it will rotate through the center point. Here only two times the shape matches exactly to the original figure which is 180 degrees and also 360 degrees. So the shape has two rotational symmetry. I will give you a small task. You have to do it at home. Draw circle, square, oval and the triangle and find out how many times the original shape matches. Next, we are moving into another important thing, congruent figure. The two figures that are exactly the same shape and the size are called congruent figure. Here are some questions you have to do it at home. First question, draw the order of rotational symmetry for following pictures. Second question, draw the isosceles triangle on scarred paper and make the axis of symmetry. Third question, draw a rhombus and make the axis of symmetry. Fourth question, sketch the capital letters of the alphabet. Mark any axis of symmetry and the center of rotation if it exists. Let's move into the summary of this presentation. If a shape folded along a line, one half of the shape would fit exactly over the other half. The fold line is called axis of symmetry. There are a shape consists one symmetrical line, two symmetrical line and also more than two symmetrical line. At last, we studied about rotational symmetry. The shape cannot be folded that can be turned or rotated about a center point and at last we studied about congruence two figure that are exactly same shape and same size that we called as congruent figure 
I hope you have understand the topic symmetry. Thank you so much for listening to the presentation.